Can I please get through? Bring it up, bring it up. Come on, let you out. Ah, got through. All right, come on, girls, push her up. Come on, come on, hop up, come on. Up here, you, come on. Yummy meal. Oh, Dad, how are we going? Oh. All right. Oh, I can't Good morning. Good morning. So far. Oh, the so far, so good. About nearly halfway through a Balkan. Yep. I did arrive. Are you arrived? Yeah, he arrived at uh, just after I cut the first row. Yeah. Still made it. Got, uh, no rush. We got this girl here. She's on the new cups. There's just pushing the cows up. He'll start washing the yard properly. We'll just play the waiting game. There's another one here still going. She needs a weight on her front left quarter because she uh, put bigger quarter that front left to help the milk out more easily. Same with this girl here, she needs them on her back too. And she has trouble milking out her back two quarters. Yeah, go well though. Girls are milking well this morning, it seems like they're pumping. She's nice and full. Good girl, good girl. Up the periscope, there it is. Hey Dad! Howdy! You see the periscope? Yeah, up periscope. She's usually milk around a lot quicker, but she might not have been milked out properly last night. A good sign to see that the cows are milking well is when your slow girls get slower. She has gotten a lot slower today. This morning's milking, sorry. We're starting to watch the yard. The girls are right out there. Hello. Oh, you're friendlier than that. Come on. There we go. Hey, good girl. Good little hair shot. <laughs> Come on, girls. Hop up. Come on. Best for milking. We have to be quick here because the tank is not too far away. Um, we're going to put the pellet of grass seed on these drums here. See how far we can get in. out of the way of the rats. Rats will try and go for that, even though we got no rats here because of the so rats really bait. Yep, far enough back to be out of the rain too. We've got a little thing there. Beauty. Ah, looks good. That's back his skills. Good enough. We'll push it in by hand. Down the base. <laughs> Cow's just there. We're all hooked up. Let's go loader. Ah, thank you, Dad. He's opened the gate so I can go in there, turn around and swing into that one because we got two days out of that paddock as dad was saying it was just far too much grass so better to have it two days than two nights and leave too much behind Again. Seems 
be a bit more standing up straight perfectly today. It's nice and tall maze, it's still taller than the tractor. Really good maze. There we are, that's a good load all sorted. We'll go down, we'll go feed out to the cows. Turn around in this paddock because uh, can't get out that way either. Better than trying to jackknife her out, end up breaking one of those big, massive straighters there. Alright. Should I close these gates? Lock, so, Dan's got a plan today. He's going to go and uh, we're going to put on our grass seed with a, a little motorbike sprinter and I'm going to run it over with a Cambridge roller. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if it works. Um, yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. Because we're putting it on the new on the maze paddock because we're talking to the con tractor and uh, his power harrow has got their seeker on it and also his um the machines he bought in last time they'll never get in the gateways. They're too bloody big. All the machines are getting too big for the little farms now, peat farms. So. We're going to just go put it on with the motorbike spreader. And then I'll take the uh, roller down, the Cambridge roller, and we'll give it a good roll. I'll show you what I mean when we it's get going to be interesting to see how it goes. Is this a little motorbike spreader there? Only for our grass seed. We've got the grass seed on, 225kg bags. It's a 2 hectare paddock. And um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes because the May stubble's still there. The ground hasn't been worked up, but we'll. See what happens if we just roll it over with the Cambridge roller if it comes up. It should come up. The birds won't eat it because it is treated grass seed and uh, they won't like the taste of it. And the Cambridge roller should roll the dirt onto it. And with the peak ground, it's quite fluffy ground. So uh, just to see if it works. It should work. We're going for our Cambridge roller, which is by the shed over here. Now we're all hooked up. Cambridge roller. Let's go and roll this grass seed in. There we go. So as you can see here, this gateway's a bit tight here on the left. Especially coming off here, he'd never have gotten his machine or anything in here. So um, I don't know where Dad's been yet. We'll just wait for him to do a few rounds first. Here he comes, the motorbike. Yeah. Go along here, he's already done the strip on the set by the look of it. We go about 10 kilometers per hour, we can go faster, but I don't think it does as good of a job, so we just do it along at 10 kilometers per hour. Grass will grow through, and then we'll hit it with a nice um, pasture spray. Eventually, we'll get a lot more uh, weeds coming through. Let's 
slow right down here, just about cut us off. There he goes. <laughs> The rolling's actually come up really well. Now you look at that stuff there, rolled. This is the stuff over here not rolled. So it's, the rolling's coming up good. Not too bad, I think. And I see the grass seed, most of the grass seed's gone into the ground too, so it's good to see. Yeah, the grass seed going on at a very good rate. <laughs> a bit heavy. A bit heavy, but that's all right. They can't really see where it's going. Got it? Can't get the machine Yep, that's right. No other way of doing it. Look at that. Got a bit of grass seed. Got clover in there. Yep, beauty. Two different sorts of clover. Yep, the little seeds, these little round ones, I'll show you little round seeds in there they're the uh, clover and your normal grass seed is there the reason why it's yellow is because it's treated stops the birds from eating it uh, black beetle yeah and black beetle a bit of a Argentine stem weevil Argentine weevil that's right that's right see that's yellow this is green different type of grass seed be good just go up and down there Goes. As you can see here, it's going well. This is before it's rolled. Then this is after it's rolled. Most of the grass seed has been put in, pushed into the ground. Doesn't look like it's getting that area, but it actually is. It's just that the uh, roller, not as sharp. See, he's got sharp bits here, not as sharp through here. But it's good. He's doing the job. It's rolling it in. All right, let's get back on the track and keep it going. There he goes. He's on the last couple of rallies. He's finished. He's all done. We're just working our way up and down because Dad was going uh, around and around. He said he couldn't see where he was. So instead he started going up and down. So that's why we're going up and down now. We were going around in circles as well. So we keep going this way. You the phone over here. He's finished up. So that's just panic reseeded as well. We'll just give it a good roll and uh, yeah, keep going. Done, we're all set up. Uh, we will exit the, exit the gate up here and uh, close her up because I think that's um, us for now. We'll look at spraying this when uh, we get to it. It's a bit stalky in places, but the grass should grow through. If anything, I'll we'll use the stalk as a fertilizer. Interesting to see how it comes up compared to um, the other paddocks that got done. We probably should have mulched at first, but eh, that's all right. Good. We're we'll gonna put it back and uh, good job roller. We'll see you at the next paddock. All done. Let's go shift this irrigator and go set up this reel. But the problem at the moment, um, the reason why we did it like that is because we're talking to dad's friend there and he's been waiting for a contractor to come and do his uh his paddock for at least about three weeks now, so Contractors are just so busy at the moment. They're going around. They're still chopping maize in areas. They're still they're doing may they're doing silage stacks as well because there's that much grass in the areas. They're flat knackers and there's that much reseeding needing done. They're just so busy. So um, we thought we'd rather do it ourselves and have to wait that long. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, if it doesn't work out, we can always uh, get our old rotary hoe on and then go and rotary hoe up first the next paddock and then go and um, do that with the grass seed the same way we did it before. Because that rotary hoe, she does a good job, she powers through. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's go. And also I just noticed 
tank has been, so we'll also go and wash the vents. So pretty easy to turn the irrigator around. We've got our wire here, we've put it on the back of the motorbike, and we're slowly just the irrigator. These girls are not hungry. They've been mooing at me while I've been doing this. Look at them. You're not that hungry, look at you. Ah, oh, good to see some happy cows, but they still got heaps of grass to eat, and they think they need more. Poor girls. <laughs> All right, shall we go, Aaron? Let's set this up, and we'll come back, lock it down, close the gate there, close the other gate, go set up this reel. Silly buggers. All right, we'll lock it down. Down there, down there, all set up. Okay, let's keep going. And that's the real all set up. All done. Right. Um, we'll call it a day there. Uh, We've had a uh, death in the family. My auntie passed away uh, this morning before she went to go get the cows in. Um, so yeah. Rest in peace, Mum Ruth, and condolences to my cousins and my uncle in passing, and then and granddad and dad taking it very hard. So is my uncle. So, um, yeah, quite a surprise. She was only 58. So, yeah, rest in peace, Mum Ruth. Uh, Afternoon, Dan's off to go get the girls in. Nice and close. Alright. Dan likes washing the yard with all that grass in it. Heaps of grass. Oh. <laughs> the girls are coming in, going out well tonight. Yep. Thank you. Alright, let's go get them. There's the gate. Oh uh, yeah, little clown first. White one. Good girl, you're first. A little darling, little heifer. They all white. I wonder what her results. Didn't do, not do it too well this year. She had a bit of an issue at the start. For the best fighters. Thanks, 
give this, get into this panic another go. Three bales on board. Swing it wide. Right. Drop it down a bit. Whee! I'll drop this on the new grass and then we'll feed out these bales. Go this way.